Today we're going to take a look at using the um, conditional access policies in Microsoft 365 to require the your global admins to have multi-factor authentication. Uh, so this is one of the first steps in the CIS hardening guidelines for Microsoft 365. Um, so that's where I'm getting the information from for this video and then I'll have a couple others um, just of some uh, easy to implement policies to tighten up your M365 environment. Um, the first thing that you want to do and I'll put a link to those. I'll put a link to the guidelines that I'm following in the description of the video from CIS. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to log into our 365 admin center, and we want to come down here to Azure Active Directory. It's going to open up another tab, and then we're going to come over to Enterprise Applications, and under the Security heading, we're going to go to Conditional Access. Now once we're there, we'll click New Policy, and we'll give it a name, so require uh, MFA on global admin accounts, or something along those, that, those lines. Uh, you always want to name and put descriptions in your stuff too, so that when you look at it, you know what it does, or somebody else knows what it does, right? So the first thing we need to do is under assignments, we need to click this users and workloads and select users and groups. Then we'll check off directory roles. And there's about nine, um, eight to nine roles that we're going to select. Um, and these roles come from the CIS hardening guidelines. So the first one is the billing admin. The second one is the conditional access administrator followed by the exchange administrator, global admin, and then I also add global reader just because, you know, if somebody has the global reader role, they can see everything in the environment um, regardless of whether they can make changes or not. So I add that. And then we've got the help desk administrator role, the security administrator role, the SharePoint role or admin role, and then the user admin role. So these are nine roles that, uh, eight of which CIS specifies as the bare minimum to have MFA required upon. So we'll move over to this cloud apps or actions. We're going to set it to all cloud apps. It's going to warn you not to lock yourself out. And then we're going to come under access control uh, or access controls grant. And we're going to check off this require multi-factor authentication box. Don't check anything else off, just this one MFA, require MFA. Click select. It's going to warn you, um, don't lock yourself out. I'm going to exclude my, user, my current user from this policy for the moment just because I'm just showing you how to uh, set this up, even though I already have MFA turned on manually uh, for my account. Um, this is how you actually require it or force it. So um, we'll want to enable the policy. So we'll turn it from report only to on, and then we'll click the create button. It's going to go through and create. And now you can see you've got this policy created uh, to require MFA for global admins. Now, maybe that name should have been a little more specific given we added other roles, um, but basically any global admins uh, or anybody who has like administrative roles in the environment will be required to have uh, MFA on their account. So hopefully this helped you guys out. I've got a couple more videos coming on some other easy steps you can take to harden your 365 environment, just things that I've pulled from the CIS hardening guidelines. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe below. I'll put the link in the description where I got the hardening guidelines for CIS in case you guys want to delve further into it.